I'm Dawn McKinney and I'm in the School of Computer and Information Sciences and I'm here to talk to you about your success, your success as a student. And the first thing I want to say is that you are responsible for your own success. You are. And if you take responsibility for your own success, there's no way you can't succeed. You will succeed. So you just need to make that decision. Do I want to succeed? And if I, if I want to succeed, I will. That's it. It's a commitment. Now in our field, in computer and information sciences, one of the key things is problem solving. And problem solving is something that you're going to have to really focus on in our field. And it might be a good idea if you found your own methodology for problem solving that you're comfortable with. One example is Polya's problem solving methodology. And he was a mathematician. And what he had a simple one that was only four steps. And the, and the acronym is easy to remember because we all do it. And the acronym is UDIE, U-D-I-E, understand, design, implement, and evaluate. First, of course, you have to understand the problem. Ask lots, lots of questions. Make sure you know what you're doing and, and talk to other people, look things up, ask questions. That's the, probably the most important thing about understanding. Then design. Use a design methodology. Use a pseudocode. Use UML diagrams. Draw pictures. Talk to people. Try different things. Look at other alternatives. When you design, you need to be thinking really thinking about what would be a good solution to this problem. And then implement. Go ahead and code it. Write the code. Make it work. Run it. And then try it a different way and a different way and a different way and find the best way. Finally, you evaluate your solution. And when you evaluate, you don't just see if the answer is correct. You see if it's efficient, if it's a good way to do it, if it's the best way to do it. And try other ways and then decide which way is the best way to do it. So problem solving is really important in computer and information sciences. Okay, so in any field, another thing that's important is to find good study groups. You need to find support systems, resources, people, organizations. We have the ACM, we have tutoring, free tutoring that the ACM offers. We have lots of excellent students that you can partner with, form study groups, work together, learn from each other, compare solutions, compare ideas question, study together. It's very, very important to find a study group. It really helps you to be successful and it makes it more fun. And fun is important. You want to have fun. These are your college years and you want it to be fun. You want to have a good time. And it doesn't mean that you have to just party all the time to have a good time. You can have a good time solving problems or working with people. Studying can be fun. I know when I was a student I used to have a lot of fun studying. So try it. Try working with people and, and laughing and having a good time. Also, another thing that's important is that you forever, ever, ever continue to learn. You're never going to stop learning, especially in our field, because this is an ever-changing field. Computer and information sciences is evolving, changing constantly, and you need to continue to learn and keep up with it. Even after you graduate, when you have a job, you're going to always, always, always be learning. So anyway, thanks for listening. Bye-bye.